Hi, welcome back again. Oh, how's my hair look? No, my hair is messed up. I gotta keep the hat on. Uh, we're keeping the hat on. I, I, I had to switch the jacket though. I'm getting hot. And I don't like this shirt too much. It doesn't fit me that good. It's like it's loose around the wrong places and it's tight around the wrong. Anyway, listen, y'all. I, I, to explain why I need, I, I've been getting so hot, is I've been doing this Eminem album non stop. We almost there. We, look, we about to be like three quarters of the way in. We up to never lose again. Uh, never love again. I'm sorry. Look, I can't even read right. Eminem got my mind messed up. Look, go check out the last one. E Eminem took me back to, back to school. I thought I was done with school. I've been done with school. I haven't been in school in, 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 in like, I don't even know how many years. Eminem decided, nah, you need a refresher course. So go check out that reaction if you haven't. I'm going to need to put all these into a playlist or something. But, uh, and, and like organize my channel better. But basically, all my last recent reactions since th that I recorded last night and, and this morning, they're all, it's just this album. I'm doing this album all the way through so I don't spoil myself by listening to it on my own time. So we're up to Never Love Again. Number 14 out of 20. Luckily, some of them are interludes and, and, and intro and, 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 and outro and stuff like that. All right, let's get into this one, man. Never Love Again. Oh, man. I feel like this is going to be bad. All right. Let's go. I could be with anybody, I choose you Still, it's no excuse to abuse you But no one knows what I'm going through So I'd use you To be truthful, I wouldn't know what to do if I lose you So I refuse to I'd have a screw loose and a fuse blue But I think I might be building up a tolerance to you Cause one minute I'm hollering, screw you Next I take it back Guess you could say I'm trying to unscrew you But the shit's about the Now As much as this could be taken about a female for some reason, because I remember he did another one that sounded, I think, I think it was 25 to Life. I think it was two of them, 25 to Life and Seduction uh, from Recovery. And I remember both of them couldn't be first taken that he's talking about a, 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 like Kim or another female that he got with. But honestly... I'm pretty sure those, both of those, he was talking about the rap game. I know one of them, he says it. And the other one is thought, but not for sure. Actually, low-key, I, I heard a theory that uh, Seduction is, is a low-key diss on Lil Wayne. I might have to break that song down for you uh, one of these days. I definitely have heard it before, obviously. I mean, I'm talking about it. But um, just to explain to y'all why, because it was a very interesting theory, and it makes a lot of sense, especially considering what was going on at the time. So let me know if you guys will be interested in that. But let's get keep on going with this. You, because one minute I'm hollering, screw you. Next, I take it back. Guess you could say I'm trying to unscrew you. But the shit's about to pop off. Yeah, I fill you up, then I got you totally open as soon as I take your top off. You're so hard to resist. You knock my socks off. My friends say you're bad for me. Hogwash. I never love again. The way I loved you. Did you find someone new? Are you doing this with them? Cause I remember when. Remember when you was mine, yeah. We were inseparable at one time, yeah. You know I love when you was undying, yeah. You used to always have my. Some days it feels like you're. See, I'm still, I'm still confused whether this is a, about a, a female or 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 or, 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 or the rap game. And it, obviously, it's written in a way that it could be taken as both. So this entire song is basically a double. 
Like, which is not surprising. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we pausing for the drink to get poured. Because, um... Oh, Eminem makes me need a drink. I don't got no aspirin. So I need something to keep this headache away that he's about to give me. Alright, let's put the end of that back because there was a bar one to, I wanted to speak on. I need to refresh my memory. I'm very forgetful. Sorry. Are you doing this with them? Because I remember when. I remember when you was mine, yeah. You were inseparable at one time, yeah. You know I love when you was undying, yeah. You used to always have my. Some days it feels like you're all that I had. I feel like I didn't even get to, hit, get to the part I was going to say, but just that whole general scheme, like, I'm pretty sure we've all been there. Where this, like, I'm, I'm taking it from the perspective of this is about a, a, a significant other. And I'm pretty sure we've all been there, like, when things had already fallen apart. But then, like, there's still somewhat feelings on both sides, but they start... But usually it's always, it's always one side that starts moving different first and acting really different first. And you're just like, so you found someone to replace me all of a sudden. That's, that's why you're moving different now. And you start having those thoughts in your head. Listen. Love is a very powerful emotion. And it could be the most wonderful thing in the world. And it could also be the most horrible thing in the world. That's why I'm trying to hold on to you for as long as I can And you just want me for my money, so I got you wrapped all in saran Damn, talk about eating out the palm of my hand But it's not for my fun You wrapped around me like, what? Always have my Some bad. days it feels like you're all that I have That's why I'm trying to hold on to you for as long as I can And you just want me for my money, so I got you wrapped all in saran Damn, talk about eating out the palm of my hand Oh, wrapped you all in saran Saran rap, talk about eating out the palm of your hand, because, you know, you can rap, like, uh, different stuff. Like, a, a lot of times they use it for, like, pastry, uh, or, like, baked goods and stuff, like, to keep it fresh. And then you could basically just unwrap it and, like, eat out of the palm of your hand. But then talk about eating out the palm of my hand, like, you eat, like you're eating out the palm of my hand. And going back to what he said before that was... With uh, you only using me for me for my money, and if we're looking at it from the perspective of it's about the rap game, it could be the same thing. They only want him for his money. Speaking of the money, he he makes them, and the, and how big his name is, and the producers and everything, and the, and the labels. They, they want people like that so they basically they could eat out the palm of their hand. They, they eating off work that he doing without having to be the one that actually comes up with it. So, like, the same thing with a venue. If a venue get, gets Eminem to, to perform there, yeah, he's going to get he's going to get make a lot of money, but so are they. Because that, that's, that's going to be cut. Uh, 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 like I, I don't I don't know the percentages. I'm not I'm not in the industry like that. But either, I know the venue is gonna get uh, 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 the venue is probably gonna uh, the venue the venue is gonna sell out. So they they gonna get a good they gonna get a good paycheck for that. Me for my money, so I got you wrapped all in saran. Damn, talk about eating out the palm of my hand. But if not for my financials, I wouldn't have you anyways. There have been ample plenty days where I'm just in a daze and I can't pull myself about this rut. And you're so much of a handful. I can only take so much of you all at one time because too much of you is just too much to swallow sometimes. Gotta take you in doses, but when you're not at my side, I shake in convulsions, separation anxiety because we may be the closest. Yeah, baby, we hopeless. Yo. And now, if. Oh my god. 
now just just considering already the two ways I'm thinking about it. Now now he's bringing up like withdrawal symptoms and stuff. So that could be that could add on like a drug addict. I gotta take you in doses, cause you know you take too much or something you you overdose. But so you take a so if you're a drug addict you you, you take too much you you will overdose and you'll die. But if you don't get enough you get that withdrawal. So it's like if I don't have you by my side, oh my god, that that's like that's like a triple. That that can just that, there's like there's at least three different ways of thinking about that. Ooh, Eminem, start giving me a headache. Oh my God. Because too much you use, just too much to swallow sometimes. Gotta take you in doses, but when you're not at my side, I shake in convulsions, separation anxiety, because we may be the closest. Yeah, baby, we hopeless. Don't we make an atrocious combination? We know it's like playing with explosives. Quite dangerous, though, but my brain's in hypnosis. Such a wide range of emotions. My brain's the wide. Oh, what? We make an atrocious combination. We know it's like playing with explosives. Quite dangerous, though. But my brain's in hypnosis. We an atrocious combination, like playing with explosives. And then going back to the drug use, you know, like you, you, you're not, you really not supposed to combine certain things. And like I've known people that 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 like damn near almost overdose. Cause they took, they took, they were taking some pills, which yo yeah, don't do not take pills if they are not prescribed to you. And if they say you're not supposed to drink on it, don't drink on it. Cause that that combination can be bad. And these are like playing with explosives, like cause if you combine the wrong chemicals, things will blow up in your face. Oh my god. But explosives quite dangerous though. But my brain's in hypnosis. Such a wide range of emotions. My brains, but why the fuck am I taking these motions? Ibuprofens, like a drop of rain in the ocean. You're my fix on the days when I'm broken. But the shit's about to go sideways, I just know it. You're my fix on the days that I'm broken. So it could be so, so still the e easy triple. Drug use bar, because usually, like a lot, like basically on bad days, that that's when uh, addicts and ex-addicts who tend to want their fix, whatever it is, whatever type of drug they use, and they're used to like to feel to, to feel better or not to feel at all. They'll they, they'll want that on the worst days. Like that's the days that'll be like, man, I just. I just want to get high, and and then the same and then like w same thing in like the relationship or or type type of thing. It's like when you're having a bad day, you want to you would would want to be around uh pe people someone that that you feel cares about you. So it could be taken like that too. And then as an artist, rap is pretty much his outlet. So it's like if he's having a bad day, he want to go into the booth and, 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 and just spit bars about it, cause that's his way. That's cause that's a way a lot of artists vent. They get deep into their music, <coughs> unfortunately, during some of their worst moments. I think there was a quote about that, but I, I don't remember that correctly. But it's it's something to do like. The, the people going through the most pain like tend to put out like the most beautiful uh, art. I know I'm not quoting it anywhere near right. I'm just I'm just saying the idea. I'm trying to remember the exact quote, but I'm not gonna remember it. So we're gonna just gonna keep on going. But it's something to think about. Days when I'm broken, but the shit's about to go sideways. I just know it. I'll never love again the way I loved you. Did you find someone new? Are you doing this with them? Cause I remember when you remember when you was mine, yeah. We were inseparable at one time, yeah. You know my love for you was undying, yeah. You used to always have my so I back. That, uh, that that hook is definitely I, I to me it's 
for trying to think about it from Eminem's perspective, I feel like that's more about the rap game than any, than anything else. Because at this moment, I feel like the only person that you know, the only people he really cares about like that are, are his daughters. Like. Other than that, it's like he I don't really feel like he cares like that much about another individual. Not saying that he doesn't care about other individuals, but just not in the way he's describing. So I, I that that's that 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 hook right there is really was making me feel like that this is more about from his point of view about the rap game, but just written in the type of perspective that it can also be taken about a significant other because that because a lot a lot more people will understand that than like and that that and feel that personally than understand it at, from the artist's point of view. He's saying at one time we were inseparable to like because yeah at one time there was there was not a radio station or 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 a or a music channel that you could put on and you wouldn't hear something about Eminem. Like, I don't know. Anyway, that's just, that's just my perspective. Yeah, y'all can let me know yours down in the comments if you think there's another way you could also be taken. But, uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Because I'm too cowardly to leave you head is clouded in a fallacy, but in reality... Yeah. You used to always have my So I spiral down with Lee cause I'm too cowardly to leave you head is clouded in a fallacy But in reality somehow it seems like when I lay me down to sleep First of all the beat switch Always have my So I spiral down with Lee cause I'm too cowardly to leave you head is clouded in a fallacy But in reality somehow it seems like when I lay me down to sleep I'm counting sheep you're bound to creep cause every time I turn around you keep running out on me you're my Xanax and my volume. I'm an addict, you're a downer. You're my habit, it's like I found you in the cabinet, but it's like I can't uncap it because it's childproof, a scoundrel and fiends. How I feel around you, awful. Every time I lost, you felt like I had you in my pocket. Now I'm flipping over the furniture, punching holes in the walls through everything that we've gone through. How many times you fucked me, but the way it felt for me to be on top when I was on you. Swore my field team, but word The way it felt for me, for me to be on top when I was on you. Is exactly what I mean. He's talk. He's he's talking about the rap game. That's that that's he, that that's what he's talking about. He's just putting the whole song into a double meaning. This whole song is a double entendre. But how how it felt for me to be on top when I was on you talking about when he was on, on when he was big on rap. Before he took time off and people started to say he fell off and stuff like that. And when he he would, I mean, either way, I don't think there's been a single Eminem album, like, since I don't even know when, that hasn't gone platinum or double platinum. Or higher. <laughs> like, diamond. Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm like, I'm like 99% sure even Revival went platinum. And that was the one that people kind of considered one of his worst. Again, I just felt he was trying to switch his style up. I wouldn't call it his worst album. It's just that people expected only one type of style. But then, and, and anyway, going back to the bar, how it felt, uh, is it how good it felt, felt to be on top when I was on you? Like, sexually being on top? Bro. Whew. This whole song is a double. This whole song is a double, if not a triple at some points. Fuck me, but the way it felt for me to be on top when I was on you. Swore my field but word of G.O.D. I thought you loved me, bitch, you tried to kill me. I'm getting off you. Quit calling for me. Hot too tired, respond to the ambient and silent all to. Fuck all you. You fucking bitch. We're done. <laughs> Uh, yo, and then that bar is hit. That bar I was just talking about is hit me in a third way, cause that goes back to the. This whole song is a fucking triple. This whole fucking double. This whole song is a triple. 
Because how it felt for me to be on top when I was on you, how it felt for me to be high when I was on you, like taking drugs and then he was flushing it down at the end. Yo, this whole song is a triple entendre. This whole goddamn song is a triple entendre. Oh my god. Just when you think Eminem can't get any better, he go and fuck around and do something like this. That whole song was a fucking triple. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Every time, every, every single one of these I've, I've listened to today, it just left me like more speechless than the last. So I'm just going to end it right here. Yours truly hungover hermit. I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully I don't get a headache.